I want to introduce all of you to the world of togies, togas. I don't know. They say the name a couple times. It's the story of togies. <laughs> and I still can't quite get it to roll off my tongue. It's a brand new game released recently for Nintendo Switch and really every platform. And it's a self-proclaimed colorful 3D puzzle platformer. In fact, when taking on this sponsorship, they had some fun times trying to explain how the game takes inspiration from Super Mario Galaxy, Pikmin, and Katamari Damacy. Honestly, when I first heard that, I thought they were just being cute. But as it turns out, that description might not be far off. You play the game as a Roomba. Sorry, sorry, you're actually named Toomba. And long story short, you're basically trying to save the universe from destruction due to an unknown entity. There is a king who is entirely self-proclaimed that you quote-unquote work for. You use togies to build your way to success, solving puzzles and dealing with gravity-defying circumstances as you attempt to consume all the fruit in each world. It sounds simple, but in practice, it's quite clever. I've only played a little past the tutorial levels, and frankly, just getting past those levels took some real creativity. You see, you can place the blocks anywhere you want so long as they are adjacent, or were at one point adjacent, to another block, and you use these blocks to help solve the puzzles. There are different color blocks that do different things. Red blocks are the standard, but other blocks, such as yellow that you unlock along the adventure, contain properties such as electricity and can be stacked even higher than the red blocks, allowing for more complex puzzle solving. The game doesn't take itself too serious with the story, mostly telling jokes that admittedly got me to chuckle a few times, but surprisingly, the self-description of the game came across fairly accurate in gameplay. There is so much to do in a world with adorable, blubbering cubes. It's a mix of something new and totally familiar, with many tricky challenges in this adventure around the cosmos. From a futuristic city in the savanna to a realm made of carrot cake. <laughs> I don't even like carrot cake. You get to immerse yourself in incredible settings with some pretty nice looking vistas. This is a 3D platformer with a classic collectathon style that many of us will remember from the golden Nintendo 64 days. There are seven main levels with 27 plus bonus levels and enough content to keep you going for dozens of hours. It's also cool because the game is available on literally everything for just $20. And I can safely say that price might even be a bit low for the quality of the experience at hand. All of this from a little known studio called Regular Studios out of Brazil. Now, before I let you enjoy some raw gameplay, I wanted to give some extra explanation on the actual blocks or the togies as they call them. Uh, and what their colors mean. So there's red, yellow, blue, green, white, and black. You'll unlock these throughout your adventure. You get the red and yellow ones very early on in the tutorial. Uh, the red togi stack up to five, so you can go five high with them. So this gives you that limit that really encourages you to sometimes use other togies. However, it only costs one togi. So what does that mean? There's this counter on your screen that tells you the total amount of togies you can put down, but different colors might need more uh, or higher numbers. As an example, yellow takes up two togies instead of one, so the count goes up even higher. And you can increase your number of togies by collecting certain items throughout your adventure. Now, the red ones also happen to be immune to fire. So yeah, these are just sort of your basic ones. Obviously, red, immune to fire, makes a lot of sense. The yellow ones, which I guess are actually orange, supposedly. I was I was corrected by this uh, when, when going through and, and trying to get this video approved that apparently they're orange. They look yellow to me, but you know what? Color differences, I guess. Um, the yellow togi, which are actually orange, can pile up to seven high, but they use more of the togi limit. They can also be used to conduct electricity and activate objects used to get to those hard to reach places, among other things. So yeah, I mean, I mentioned the electricity stuff with them, but it's good to uh, note that they stack seven high. The blue ones are the only ones that can spread underwater and put out fire. In addition, you get 500 extra togis to spread while underwater, you can spread while floating, even if there's no ground. By contrast, you cannot stack these more than three high. So while these are really, really nice, 
They also have an extreme limit on how high they can stack. The green togi are giants, perfect for spreading chaos and being used as a platform by other colors. They are the size of nine togis put together and consume the same amount of limit. So when you drop one, it takes up nine. So that's, oh, those are massive. Uh, I personally have not used the green ones yet, but man, I can't wait. Uh, next up, we have white. You can spread all other colors from white. So what's important to note here is while you're unlocking these spawn points to keep bringing your togis, whatever color you unlock that spawn point with is what color it remains. So if you unlocked it with a red, you can only spread to red togis off of that. If you apparently unlock it with a white, though, you can spread any color off of that. So that's important to note. Again, I didn't experience this one yet myself. But man, I can't wait. It'll certainly make things a bit easier. Uh, white togies can spread any other color, but not the other way around, so they can act as a powerful problem solver. White togies also stick to the wall, making it possible to climb any obstacle. But be quick, because they will auto-return after a short period of time. So, yeah, those white togies seem seem awesome. I can't, I can't wait to try those out. Uh, the black togies are the heavy togies, and they're indestructible but they cannot be erased only on fruits of the same color. So uh, for those that don't know, there's this eraser ability in there where you hit the erase and it brings like all of the togies back to you. When the black ones are put down, they're just there for good unless it happens to be related to consuming a fruit. So man, I'm dude, this game guys, I can't speak its praises enough. I am still playing it. Look, this video was recorded, done. Uh, days ago, and I am still playing this to this day. I, I can't help it. The game is just fun. I can't I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, I know you know that it, it would seem like I would run out, but I honestly truly believe the gameplay speaks for itself. Guys, I actually don't get super excited about a lot of sponsorship content we have on this channel. After all, we're just paying the bills. But this is one of those few that upon taking a look at it, I am so thrilled that we took this sponsorship, guys. This is an absolutely fantastic game. One of the best games I have played in 2022, especially for 3D puzzle platformers. This might be the best one released in 2022. I can't stress that enough. So instead of me just telling you that it is, I'm going to let the gameplay do the talking. So enjoy a bunch of clips of gameplay here from you guys, showing you some of the fun puzzles and other really kooky things about this game. And you guys can decide for yourself. I'll have a link down in the description if you're interested in checking this game out.
Oh, <laughs> 